Good morning. Again. It's Marsha. Now we're going to cut our oatmeal stout. Which I just love the scent. I love it. I'll be honest. It doesn't fully remind me of a stout. Maybe because I've never had an oatmeal stout. I'm not a stout girl. Fix that. I'm not a stout five-pound loaf. We're going to have to cut this upside down, too, just like the meadow, because we have some oats on the top. Okay. I was just going to cut the first end. Just because when I take it out of the mold... Um... I don't want to cut too much off. I'm just trying to make it so it's straight. Yes, I absolutely love this scent. And it looks like the titanium dioxide <clears throat> actually worked a little bit on this one. This one's usually much darker by now. <clears throat> so I will, I'll f <clears throat> excuse me, I'll flip it over. You can already see there's going to be a white swirl in there. And you can see the ground oats that are in it. <clears throat> so this one is just lovely for the skin. Oh. I like the smell of this. I like the you know, I like the smell. I like the oatmeal in it. And I really ground grind up the oatmeal, you know, so it's really um Holding it upside down is hard because the top is not a perfect. The top is not a perfect, you know, flat. Whoa! Oh, it looks good. Let me measure one or two so I can figure out the exact <clears throat> so I just finished cleaning up the meadow soap oh yeah oh it just smells amazing I might have to do one more weighing. Those first two are a little small. This one looks better. Four, eight, perfect. But okay. So, it is beautiful here in New Hampshire today. Beautiful, a little windy. But I'll take it. The leaves are falling. It's oh, it's just I love fall. We grew pumpkins this year. My husband cut them, you know, cut them off this weekend when I was. Can you guys see that? When I was gone, so I came home and the pumpkins were all on the deck and the porch. I did a jack o' lantern with my son last week. That was fun. I like this time of year. He is going to be a police officer this year. Which he was last year as well. That's a pretty one. Hopefully. 
There's a swirl down here, and there's a swirl here and here. Um, he was a police officer last year. And we have a fun time. The two older kids, you know, they don't trick or treat. Actually, my daughter's birthday is tomorrow. She's going to be 19. Um, but last year, you know, we went as a family. The older two kids came with us just to um, go with Hunter. You know. But anyway, just a fun time of year. Fun time of year. Beautiful weather. I wish winter wasn't next. Oh, I could have wiped my blade. Yeah, we'll have to see what color this turns because I added titanium dioxide to the base, which normally, you know, that doesn't matter on many fragrances. But this one, I, th I think it does matter. I think it actually makes it so it's lighter. Let me wipe my blade. Which I wouldn't mind it being a little lighter. Let me see, actually, if I have a... This is typically how dark, that's typically how dark it gets. So it looks like the titanium dioxide is going to lighten it a little bit, which is nice. Some fragrances, I've tried that with a couple other fragrances and, you know, it doesn't, <clears throat> excuse me, it doesn't affect them at all. They still get dark or turn that god-awful yellow. I'm just wiping my blade. Now this blade, I don't know why, I'll show you. I bought them both at the same place. This is what I use, this knife. I use this, look how clean and, you know, I use this to get the, the loafs out of the mold. I use it for the ends. Same place. And look at how it's discolored. And this is washed and cleaned. Um, I'm wiping it right now. So I don't know why it does that. And so then I went and bought a, you know, I went to a food place. These two I got at a hardware store. So I went to a food place, you know, cooking, cook shop or whatever. And I bought one that has a better handle on it, but it doesn't, my miter box is up too high. So it doesn't go all the way down. So I have to use these. And I was trying for the video to use knives when I cut them. But it just doesn't cut as nicely. But anyway, so I probably just need to go to a cook shop and see. Oh, you know what? Maybe because this is aluminum. Could it be? I don't know. Maybe because it's not stainless steel, although I know it said stainless steel. I know it did. I was specifically looking. I like cutting it like this. I like the box. You know, I feel like I have some control over it. Because although my, um... You know, my recipe is the same. The weights are always the same. Just I do the tops differently sometimes. Sometimes I add balls or, you know, embeds. So the height is always a little, little different. And actually, when I was cutting the meadow soap, I was telling you how I did it differently and I didn't add embeds. Well, when I was cleaning the soap up, um... I'm really comfortable with how the soap looks, so I think I'm going to keep it like that. I think, um, just moving the oats so I can still see the line. Um, I think I'm going to keep it like that. No more embeds in that. The green and the pink is really pretty, and I still make sure the base is, you know, that natural color. Um, no more embeds in that. I'm just going to weigh this real quick, so excuse me. Um, 
No more embeds in that one, I don't think. That's a big seller and I have to make it often. So it's usually a two-day, you know, at least a two-day project to do all the embeds. Um, and then to make it. So I thought to make it easier for myself. Let's not um, let's not do the embeds. It, it it really does look pretty. I'll show you when it's all cleaned up. Hopefully, Can you see the colors. It's all cleaned up. It has the pink in it, and on the top. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep metal like that. No more embeds. So I came to that decision and felt good. And then, uh, <laughs> do we like to keep our mind going? So I came to that decision and said, okay, you know what? No more, um, no more embeds in that. Sorry, I'm just wiping the blade off. No more embeds. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. But I have a ton of soap balls. So then my mind got going on that. Like, okay, I do uh, my sandalwood. I put soap balls in it, but I have some um, soap balls that are really bright, you know, from my love spell and now from Meadow. So I got thinking, okay, what soap can I do with some nice, bright, multicolor soap balls? And I have a lot of... Um, one ounce fragrances, excuse me, arm. I have a lot of one ounce fragrances, you know, to sample and try. So I thought I'll just pick one, you know, something that's fruity and bright and add, add some soap balls to it. You know what I'd love to know? I've been meaning to ask this. Um, okay. Maybe I need to do some more research. The supplier that I buy from on my fragrances, they're very, very, very expensive. It's about $35 for a pound for 16 ounces. But, um, the maximum that you need to use is 2.5 percent. Am I wording that right? Yeah. Two. I'd have to look at my papers. Yes, 2.5 percent. Okay. So you don't need a lot of fragrance. They're highly concentrated and they're very strong. Well, I was checking out a um, well-known I don't want to use any names. I was checking out a well-known fragrance company and noticed to buy a pound of their fragrance, they were all about $15. But 15, excuse me, 5% was the norm to use 5% of the fragrance. So I got thinking, of course, yeah, to buy the fragrance and have it only be $15 is so much cheaper, but you're using double. You know, you're using 5%. So it's not going to cost you any less in the end. If anything, it's going to cost more because of the shipping. I'd be ordering it more. So I'd love to have everybody's thoughts. Because I know when I watch a lot of videos, people are using this well-known company. But again, 5% is the norm. I don't know. I don't know. So what I did was I did, um, I have used this well-known company where, you know, you use 5%. I, I have ordered... Um, oils from them, but not fragrances. So, for the first time ever, um, 
I just ordered a small four ounce bottle of, of, of a fragrance from them. But but here's what I should have done is I should have ordered one one ounce of a fragrance I already use that I have smelled before and that I used. And then I should make use that fragrance and just use 2.5%. I don't know. I'm probably making this more confusing than it needs to be. But I but I know what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm making it sound right. So I did finally buy a fragrance from them, but it's a fragrance I've never smelled before. You know, I, I, I haven't ordered that fragrance from a different... It was um, a lemongrass fragrance. Which I should have done is just say pink sugar. I get pink sugar from my regular supplier at $35 for a pound. And I only have to use 2.5%. That's the strongest, you know, that you can use by them or the, you know, the suggested. And it's very strong. Whereas if I went to this other company, it says 5%. So what I should have done is ordered pink sugar, just got one ounce, and made it at 5% and 2.5%. I don't know. Do you folks get what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what I'm saying. Oh, you know what? At the end, I always have to flip it because it just gets too wobbly. So let's flip it over. I know we're going to have a bad drag mark. Oh, the smell of this. This is just a perfect scent. What can, let me just, I'm just going to check the end cut. Um, it's a little misshapen in the back there. So I wondered if I could just give it a little trim. Maybe if I went like this. Yeah. But anyway, so that is it. That's my last cut. Now I'm going to clean these up. You can see this is a messy... Meadows next to it. But anyway, there's my oatmeal stove, which is just a perfect fall and winter scent. It's nice, thick, and rich. But okay, bye.